Monica, who is the president of the powerlifting club here at Uni of Stirling. Um, how did you get into powerlifting? Um, when I first started at the gym, I didn't have any idea what I was doing. So I wanted to learn. And when I came to Stirling, I saw that they had a powerlifting club. So I decided to join them. Uh -huh. And what, like, what was your attraction to powerlifting? Becoming stronger. Absolutely. Becoming stronger. Yeah. Um, so mentally and physically, how do you find the sport? I find that it's really connected. Like if mentally I'm having a bad day, my lifts are also going to be bad. And the same if I'm having a bad lift, my mental health is also going to be. So it's connected in that way. Um, yeah, it's just um, really focusing on keeping my mental health and my physical health. So uh, what do you do to keep them both equal? I'm trying to take a lot of breaks because <laughs> uh -huh. that's what I find the most is that if I am exhausted either mentally or physically both will be um, yeah both will affect each other. Uh -huh. So do you find it hard to fit in around, tra um, around uni or do you find it quite easy? I feel like because all of the sports clubs are doing, or most of the sports clubs are doing some sort of lifting. Uh -huh. So it kind of feels like we are part of the uni, um, and the clubs, etc. But that we're also a bit outside because we are only focusing on the lifting. Yeah. While say another club is doing lifting as an accessory, uh -huh. and then they're also competing or whatever they're doing in another uh, in their sport but we are just focused on the lifting. Yeah, do you have anything that is almost like um, like cross-training or do you solely lift? We solely lift. Well, you'd be strong. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be. <laughs> um, so do you think that there is like a connection between strength and mental strength? Yes, I feel like me personally I've become a lot stronger mentally after I started lifting because you feel uh, better about yourself when you're achieving new goals. Mm -hmm. So lifting heavy weights and just getting a new PR, for example, just it makes you also mentally uh, better. Mm -hmm. and it feels like you, yeah, building your strength mentally as well as yeah. physically. So what would your tip be to a pre-lifting Monica? Stop stressing. <laughs> <laughs> The weights will be there, um, but also just enjoy it. Don't be too focused on, say, the weights. Really just enjoy the lifting, because if you get too focused on the weights, it will affect your mental health, uh -huh. because you'll just be like too obsessed with and then if you fail something, your mental health will also just go out the window. Yeah. So instead of focusing too much on, oh, that weight didn't move, or, oh, I failed that, then rather just, okay, I failed that, Try again next time. Yeah. You know, not be too obsessed. Do you think it. that weightlifting struggles as a sport because it is quite number based? I think so, yeah. Because, first of all, um, when you are competing, or even if you're just trying to hit an EPR, it's all about like that number. Uh -huh. And you can go weeks uh, planning up to your next attempt for a PR, and you're just so obsessed with that number. And if you fail it, it will really just feel like you are Yeah. Um, so, and it's also, for a competition, there's also a lot of weight based, so like how you yourself is weighing, um, so, which is also taking a toll on, mm -hmm. like, obviously you have to make weight. Yeah. Um, so, what would you say was your biggest mental challenge? Not getting um, a new weight in a certain lift. So, for a year I was stuck on one weight in deadlifts. And I couldn't get over it. I couldn't get a new PR. I couldn't go up away. It was just a struggle, and it felt like, like both bench and, and squats were feeling so good, and then deadlift was just dragging me down. Uh huh. So it came to a point where I'm just like, I can't do it. I just I will focus on the two other lifts, but I can't do deadlifts because just didn't feel right. Yeah. Which was really a struggle because like obviously it's a big part of my sport, so it was just try constantly in the back of my mind that, oh, I'm failing this, you know. It yeah. was so good there, but it just failed out because I was so focused on I couldn't 
pretty old girl. So how does your training week look like? So currently I'm training four times a week. And now my deadlifts are better, so I'm doing deadlifts two times, squats two times, and bench two times. So do you literally just do deadlift bench squat, or do you do like? We do have some accessories based on um, like what your uh, weak points are. Uh -huh. So for me in deadlift, um, my upper back is a lot um, weaker than my lower back. So right. My, uh, my lower back takes over when I'm deadlifting, mm -hmm. so I have to really focus on like getting my chest out and like working with my uh, upper back to like that's my sensory training. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, I follow. Um, so, what would you like to see in the future for um, sport in general and also powerlifting? Sport in general and basically also powerlifting, just more of a mental, um, more of a health. Like mm -hmm. around the mental and how to handle failure mm -hmm. like or even just a stop like how to handle that you failed or that you lost or anything like that yeah so just how to handle that and also just in general how to have fun uh -huh. while you are doing your sport yeah like not to be obsessed with having to be better but actually ha having fun yeah doing it. do you think that um because powerlifting, the club here is quite close. Yeah. Um, do you think that helps you? Absolutely. They they are my best friends and they are my biggest support. So yeah. that helps a lot. I don't think I would be doing or enjoying it as much if my club didn't have my back.